New in Boris Continuum 11 is the VR unit. Five new filters optimized for 360 video. Blur, Flicker Fixer, Insert, Reorient, and Sharpen. This underwater footage was shot and stitched into an echo rectangular file by a company called Virtual. Using the new Continuum VR filters inside Avid Media Composer, we can now prepare the clip for 360 delivery. The most common task in 360 video post is reorienting the footage. The scuba diver cameraman in this shot is quite interesting, but we'd like to change the starting view using the VR reorient filter. We can change the X, Y, and Z position of the footage. We can also use the preview function inside the filter to emulate what a viewer would see in a VR headset. There are preset views to quickly change our preview, and a useful overlay feature to show our before and after of the effect. We can save our custom reorient setting for this clip as a cross-host preset to share with someone collaborating inside Adobe After Effects or Premiere. Another useful filter found in the VR unit is Sharpen. This filter provides a very high quality level of sharpening to bring back more details often lost in stitching and post-processing. Using the compare mode, we can show the before and after. We have many properties to adjust the level of detail and bring some more clarity to the shot. After a render, we can view our results. To add graphics and titling, we have the VR Insert filter. We'll drag the VR Insert to our title that was imported with an alpha key. We'll select Apply Title Mat and change our Apply Mode to Replace. Now we can position or animate the title with the correct equirectangular projection. Another common task is to duplicate titles on 360 views. Here we can use the overlay guides to show our views and the Insert Repeater option to quickly duplicate the title for each view. Once we are done, we can render our project for various 360 outlets including Facebook, Vimeo, or YouTube. Here we'll use the free GoPro VR Viewer to play in 360 or view in a headset. This was just a quick start for Media Composer editors to get started with the VR unit. The new VR unit also supports stereoscopic workflows. To learn more, visit BorisFX.com.